Hi everyone. Right, what I'm going to do now is um, <clears throat> I've made some Plash of Paris moulds uh, because I'm going to do it like um, a canvas thing and I just bought this chipboard, although I've got my own. I bought it because it saved me cutting it. Um, so I'm just letting those set uh, and right now I'm going to prime this one with some uh, gesso and this is just the Claudine Helmer Studio Gesso. Um, and just give it a coat Oops. of this. Hubby just been and bought me some um, more spackle paste because I've run out and I don't have any in the shop. I'm waiting for to do that order. Um, and when he got it, because I was going to use that for the background, it uh, was dry inside so he's having to go back down and change it. But he's not happy about it. And I'm not because it costs a lot. I sell it cheaper um, and it will be getting in shortly. Um, but for a, this was Samuel Taylor's to sell it and it not be right, that's not good. So, like I say, right now I'm just putting a coat of this on here, which dries pretty quick. Like Let's turn that round so you can see what I'm doing. Oops, I need to clean that. <laughs> Let's just put a quick coat on. Anyway, I like this, the uh, Helmuth. Sorry, Claudine Helmuth one, but it is expensive for what you get. But I don't have any white anywhere, so I have to stock up on some of my materials, I think. Which is good because I haven't stocked up on uh, materials like this for a while, so they do last. Right, so I'm just going to pop the lid back on that. Not fussing about with it too much. And then just put that out of the way. And what I'm going to do is dry that off. I hope you can see what I'm doing. You should be able to. The only thing with doing these is you have to make sure that there's no air bubbles in them and it, you can't guarantee that but uh, you, I can use those moulds with um, you know the Fimo clay, anything. I've just used the liquid plaster of Paris, well powdered, I'll have to make, up, make it into a liquid and then let it set. So hopefully that will set enough ready to be used. Now what I'm going to do next is... Um, I'm going to take some of the Lumina paint <clears throat> uh, and I'm doing the two shades of purple. Just give it a good shake. Um, I always try and use it from the lid. And don't fuss about putting this on, you know, if you're doing a mixed media project, you don't really need to fuss about it. So I'll move my card down a bit. Just slap it on. <laughs> well, you get your best looks just slapping the thing on. If you faff about, it doesn't look right, and you don't get it right. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave the lid off that a minute, which could be dangerous for me, so I'm always spilling things. And I'm not washing my brush. I'm just gonna go straight in. Oops, give that a good shake. There we go. And I'm just gonna go over that. I 
I might go over that bit again. In this corner. dries pretty quick but I'm going to help it along and just see if I like that I'm going to put a touch of purple in there I'm not fussed that much about it at all it's you know just do what you like best part about uh, mediums you can do whatever you want now what I'm going to do to that is just dry that off a minute <clears throat> and then to that I've done some stamping and I've done this, which is um, the bird. Now, I love this stamp. And I did use um, the Stays on Black ink on this tissue paper. And this tissue paper I'm recycling because it came uh, with things wrapped up. Um, it was wrapped up around some, something. And this probably doesn't even match what I'm going to be putting on it from the mould. I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered in the slightest. Because you put what you like on a mixed medium one. Like that. Let's have a look. I might just do it like that and leave the others. And now to put that on, I'm going to use some clear gesso. I must get some more of this as well. A bit of brush. That'll do. just going to put that on like that so just put a bit on, on your uh, canvas or whatever thing you're working from and then pop some clear gesso over that It is kind of grainy, is the clear gesso. So you can hear that. So I'm just going to do that. Oops. Yeah, I'm going to have it there actually. So that'll do. Spread that out over there. <clears throat> Spread that over there. I'm not fussed at all. Spread it about, why not? And then what I'm going to do is just to let that dry. I will be helping that along. <clears throat>
<coughs> Sorry, I'm just going to have a drink. Right, I'm just going to get some um, Perfect Pearls. I'm going to be wanting those. Um, and then what I'm going to do is add a little bit more colour to that. But this time I'm going to go in for this um, red one. I'm just going to wash my brush. Keep brushing that out and let the air out of it. You can see that. Let me just get some water onto that. That's better. Just thinning that out slightly. Do the same with this one. Thin it right out. It's lifting the colour, but at the same time leaving the colour, so that's what you want. Um, let's put a bit more water on there. Like that. And then... What I'm going to do is go back over the colouring with some more of the purple. Give it a shake. I like to shake it and use it out of the lid. You don't use as much. <laughs> Seems daft, but you don't. And that's what I'm going to do, is just to go back over that. You can see the picture through it. Well, that's just for the background. That's not going to be the main feature, so that's fine with me. Just do it like that. Yep, you can see that through it, that's fine, that's all I'm interested in. I'm going to add a little bit more of the other purple one. Just a hint, here, there and everywhere. Hope you can see what I'm doing. Just put a bit more colour back in this one. And of course this will have to dry. Will have to dry. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just going to have to let Vicky know that she's calling me. I need to let her know. So that's that. So what I'm going to do now, dry that off. I've got people calling me left, right and centre. this dried off as soon as I can. Yeah, like that. Uh, 
Um, and then what I'm going to do is just see if these are ready to come out. Hopefully, yep. Brilliant. Uh, may have to touch that up a little bit. I'm just going to show you what I've uh, done. All you do is just prise them out like that. And you do have to be careful because sometimes, you know, you get air bubbled in this if you're using Plaster of Paris, but I'm not bothered about that at all. And I'm really not. So I've got the owl, which will have to be, I'll just chisel that bit out. Uh, the face, unfortunately, will need the chin building up and the nose. He'll need his nose doing, but never mind. And then this one, which is the eye I'm going to scrape out, actually. It's just trial and error with this sort of thing. It really is. So I'm just going to show you this and take out the eye section that I want out. That's all you do is just take it out. All you do is just keep scraping out and chiseling out until you've got the desired look. That's if you get air bubbles in it. Unfortunately, it does happen. But I have another product that I'm going to show you um, about building something back up if it's happened like this. Okay, so just blow it all that away. Now, just move that out of the way. There's my model. And then I have somewhere. Now, what have I done with that? Oh, here it is. This stuff, which is deep uh, deep gap filler, and um, very very light, very light indeed, like that. And uh, all you need to do is I'm just going to you see that's quite dry as well now, so I'm going to have to. Dig some out of there, I think. In fact, quite a lot of that has gone dry, but it's because you do have to use these in a certain period of time, and unfortunately for me, I don't. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to use that actually. Never mind, we'll have to use something else. Um, don't waste that because I'll put water to it. I've got another one here, which is a polyfiller type thing, all-purpose filler. So it's handy to have two or three different tubs of some kind of filler. And um, let me just see. Yeah, this is okay. So all I'm going to do is to fill this in, just to fill the nose bit in. Like that. Uh, you know, it's great. Just fulfilling any little gaps. See the pit in the chin there. And then you just smooth it off. Like that. I'm not doing the eyes because I want to do something with the eyes. <clears throat> but anywhere else it needs filling in, just fill it in. Well, I'm quite happy with that. I'm not bothered about certain little areas. That all adds to the character. Um, there's some in the lip. And then you just wipe it off like that. You know, straight away you fix the problem. Like that. Okay. That's great. Uh, like that. Let's have a look at this one. Again, you just fill it in. Take off all the excess. And 
build the nose. That's quite happy with that, I think. A little bit more on the nose there. So that's that one. <coughs> on the nose on this one. This is where you have to, when you put it in the pot, you have to try, you know, in the mould, to uh, do it properly. And right now I'm just trying to get his nose right. And these won't take long to dry at all. Like that, that's fine. Not bothered about anything else. So there you go. Just filling it in, spend a little bit of time. Um, of course you don't want your things to dry up, but I don't use them all that often to be honest. And so hence why they will dry up. So I'm just going to remove these. just to shake all that off oops use that as well so what I'm going to do now is to colour that one and that is using uh, black paint to start with so I'm going to use a black gesso we should let that dry I might let that dry actually dry it off And just carefully, if it comes out, we can just put it back in, that's no problem. Let's see if we can get, um, <coughs> can't open my gesso. Ah, come here. There we go. And so, what you do is you just paint it, paint it all black. I have done some tutorials on these, oh, way back, way back, so you'd have to go and have a look. Just type in moulds and my name, and uh, anything I've done with moulds will come up. I don't often use them, but uh, maybe I should. <laughs> like I say, you just paint the whole thing black, very gently go over where you, you just put the stuff in for the nose. Sorry, I hope you can see. Leave it like that to dry. I will help it along. Do this one as well. I might not use all of them. I might just use that central one. But I don't know. It depends what I'm going to do with it yet.
just leave that one and then we're going to do this one There you go. I will do the owl. I might not use him. Oh, my big noggins isn't in the way. <laughs> And then what I'm going to do now is just to dry this one off because this is the one that I'm interested in. All you're going to do is take your perfect pearls. Um, obviously, I want to start with a green around the head for the leaves. <laughs> okay, and you just go around the edge or whatever you want to do your colours. Take your colours round like that. only need to use them sparingly you don't need heaps and heaps <sighs> I'm going to use purple of course and blend it in obviously I'm going to go over the green I only want a little bit of green showing through <sighs> 